Hello and welcome, my fine friends. As far as I am concerned, a new era of Unity game modding has begun, and we are right in the middle of it. The common way to mod is to use the NSpy and take assembly C .dll and make edits in it directly. Unless the developers are really tidy and have their own DLL, then you would do it there, and then you would kind of recompile it more or less, and then the mod would be in the game. But there are constant issues with that. BEP in X injects code into Unity games without you having to share DLL files, which happen to contain all of the source code of a game, making it quite the copyright infringement. And the mods stay intact even when the game updates its DLL files. Finally, now I just have to learn how to make mods with that, and I will make a video about that on my modding channel, so subscribe to Ivan Mods. But in the meantime, I will show you how to install mods that use Bepinex. 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 Only problem about this is the name. But that's fine. This example will use Receiver 2, which has a Discord server with a modding channel. And here you can find currently, for example, a spreadsheet which lists two weapon mods, and hopefully more soon. They have git pages and download links. And the readme states no DLL replacement required, which is that great thing about Bepinex. Bepinex. So first you figure out where the mod is. In this case, it's a Google Drive link. And then you just uh, download it. And then just go to show in folder. And here it is. Let's just extract that. And the readme is here again. And we also need Bepinex. Bepinex. Hey, look at that cute logo. And I will show you how to install. First of all, go to the releases page of the GitHub page of Pepinex and get x64 unless you really have a 32-bit Windows machine. And save it. And here it is. I'm gonna just extract that as well. And what we have to do is copy all of this into the games folder. The games folder you get, for example, in Steam in Manage Browse Local Files. So I'm gonna just copy all these and paste them in here. Nothing gets overwritten in this case. And now the next step is to run the game once. I'm just gonna do it from Steam, because why not? Okay, I can just Alt F4 out of here, because it just needs to start once. And now in the Bepinex folder, we can check out the log output file. And you can see here that a receiver 2 DLL loaded and up, up, up. Loader finished, chain loader ready, started, chain loader startup complete. So everything worked. There is only message and info, no errors. One warning, try to load duplicate assembly. Uh, that, that's irrelevant. It, I just made a backup copy of a DLL file in there, so that doesn't matter. And now let's install a mod that uses bepinx. So we have a game folder and then we have a bepinx folder in there. And the plugins folder in here will be where we install the mods. Now we have the Iskra 2 gun mod, but that is a rather complex mod. So let's get another mod first, a simple code only mod, because this one also imports some asset files. Instead, we will start with this receiver 2 mod second FOV. Let's go to releases and download. And the instructions here are just extracted to the Bepinex plugins folder and a recommendation to Bepinex config manager. So let's extract it, second FOV. Basically, it allows switching between two fields of views to zoom in easier in Receiver 2. So this folder, which contains one DLL file, we're just going to copy. And in Bepinex, in Receiver 2, in Bepinex, in Plugins, we're going to paste it. And I want you to check out config. It only has Bepinex.cfg currently. And if I run receiver now, if we go back into Bebinex and config, we can see now there's a smiling lizard plugin second FOV file .cfg file. And we can see the FOV value is 60. Let's set that to 20. And there is no hotkey. Does that work? Left alt or maybe X. Maybe I do have to restart. This mod recommends to use Bebinex config manager. So let's get that in releases. Uh, here and download it and here it is let's extract that one as well and this one has a slightly different folder structure it has a bepinx folder and then the plugins and then what needs to go inside the plugins folder so let's copy that and put it into bepinx plugins and now let's start and what this does is it allows us to press f1 
which opens this, where we can now open mods that have settings and let's set a hotkey X, for example, and set the value. And now holding X does this. Uh, F1 again, let's set FOV to 10. Now let's super zoom in. Let's set it to a crazy high number and it's uh, unpleasant. All right. Mm, over here, let's check if it actually updates. It is now X, so that should have worked. Weird. Let's set it to left alt. And if I update this file, it says left alt. So I was right about the values, apparently, but somehow didn't want to work. Anyway, so we got one BEP, BEP in X mod installed. Let's now install the other one, the more complex one. I'm just gonna set this to 25. So we are back in the receiver 2 folder. Iskra 2 beta is over here. And the first instruction is to copy Iskra underscore 2 to this path. Guns, but there is no gun, so we have to create a new folder here. A new guns. And then in here we copy Iskra underscore 2. There we go. And then the second location is the game directory plugins, Pepinx plugins. So Pepinx plugins, here we are. And here we copy the Iskra 2 patch one in. Done. And now let's start this concoction and see what happens. Right, so this mod doesn't actually add the gun to the game. It, I mean, it adds it to the game, but not to the game, if you know what I mean. Uh, let me explain. If you hit while in the main menu, control F12, you get this menu and now you have a new entry in the bug, uh, spawn, items, and if you type in S, SZ, you get Shikak A Iskra. And there it is. But you can't pick it up because you cannot drop your weapon, so there's nothing much you can do with that. You can go to the compound, because here you can drop weapons. Uh, yeah, I don't have a weapon right now, so I'm just gonna jump and look up and debug spawn the, uh, the item Shikak A Iskra. And now I can, with G, pick it up. But it has no ammo, so I go to escape debug a player fill ammo. And that's it about this gun. There's another gun which also has a mag. This one just feeds like that. Uh, but the question is how do we get this into the actual game? Because of course you want to play against drones. Alright, so we have to get out of the game for that. And we need to dig around a little bit. We are going to visit the, uh, you know, app data, local low welfare games, receiver 2 guns location. Iskra 2, player loadouts. This is the interesting thing. Player loadout standard Iskra 2 loadout. Basically what we need is standard Iskra 2 loadout, the file name, and let's copy that. And now we go to the receiver2 folder in receiver2 data in streaming assets. Let's start like this. We go to world generation configurations first and we will start with one beginner. I will hold down control and click and drag this file. And now I have a copy of that. And I'm going to rename this to a one beginner is kra with an underscore. And in here we have randomized M10 loadout and that I will replace with standard Iskra 2 loadout. And then there's randomized detective loadout. I'm just going to delete that, including this comma. And I'm going to save it. So now we have a world generation configuration. But we need to actually use that in a, I think, ranking progression campaign. Let me check this out. Yes, yes, this is it. So let's make a copy of that, hold down control, drag and release, and we're going to call this Iskra. And this I'm going to edit again. And here in one beginner, we're going to use one beginner Iskra. And I'm going to save it. Just file save. And we're going to test it real quick because I'm not sure if it works. Control F12 again for the debug menu. Go to File, Custom Campaigns, and here it is. 
Bozo Torture campaign, that's from another thing. But Iskra is over here and I can start Beginner Iskra. And what gun will I get? Come on now. Uh, what? No, uh, what? What? No. Again, custom campaign is Kra, beginner is Kra. Did I click, click the right thing? Huh. Well, I don't know what happened, but let's just open the Iskra file again and add underscore Iskra to all of these. I saved that. And in wall generation configurations, I'm going to make a copy of each of these. Control, click, drag. And I'm gonna add an Iskra ending. And I'm gonna take the standard Iskra 2 loadout. I'm gonna actually copy the whole loadout section. And then here, I'm gonna paste that in here. Save. Oops, forgot that one. Drag that in here, overwrite loadouts, save, number three, save, number four, overwrite, save, number five, overwrite, save, and hope for the best. Control F12, file. Custom campaign, there's Iskra. And let's start with number three, I guess, for example. Okay, there we go. Right gun this time. Uh, let's try beginner one. Oh, it works now. And again, zero. Not again, also. And we get the right gun, so now it works. And uh, let's see, it should also progress correctly. So I'm just gonna run quickly to the end line. This is real. This is the time you have prepared for. All right. And now we should spawn again with the correct gun. Yes, we get the Iskra. I don't know what didn't work there, but now it certainly works. So there you go, that's how you install a BEP mod BEP X in BEP, BEP in X, BEP in X. This is how you install a BEP in X mod, specifically even a receiver to gun mod. So basically look out for extra instructions depending on the mod, depending on the game, and follow them. Yeah, feel free to ask if you have any problems. And again, subscribe to Ivan Mods if you want to make these BEP in X mods yourself. Until that time comes, enjoy playing some mods. Ciao.